Good day and welcome to uh, material balances involving single units without reactions. We're going to be looking at this tutorial question and how do we approach a material balance problem that doesn't involve or entail chemical reactions. Uh, so this one is straight to the point. It's actually a mixing problem. As you can see, it's written mixing. So let's go through the statement and then see how do we solve the problem. As part of your in-service training project, you are asked to prepare a batch of 18.5% battery acid. Now, battery acid is H2SO4. It's the sulfuric acid. It's the same thing. A tank of old weak battery acid of H2SO4 solution contains 12.5% H2SO4 and the remainder is pure water. So, if 150 kilograms of 77.5% sulfuric acid is added to the tank and the final solution is to be 18.5 percent H2SO4. How many kilograms of battery acid have been made? So now that statement is very very key. How many kilograms of battery acid have been made? Because that's what we need to calculate and that's what we need to actually determine and find out. So the first approach to a material balance problem is actually sketching the problem. So if they're talking about mixing battery acid, now we can have a block diagram here. We just have a a simplified block diagram. Now we have the incoming stream of the weak battery acid, which is 12.5%. That's H2SO4. It's coming into the system. We can make this our feed stream because it's coming into the system. And then now another tank of a strong acid is actually added, which is 150 kilograms. You can make this B. 350 kilograms is added. Okay, that that composition is 77.5% of H2SO4. So that's what's coming into the system. Now, what is required is 18.5% concentration. So 18.5% concentration of H2SO4. Okay, in the product stream. So this would be your product that's what you're looking for how many kilograms of battery acid have been made so you want to know how many kilograms here have been made after the mixing has occurred so here we can call this our mixer since we're mixing so that's the vessel so we can actually call it that now you can see we're given the mass these are the mass fractions okay the, your 18 12.5 percent 12.5% is a mass fraction, 18.5% is a mass fraction, and 77.5% H2SO4 is a mass fraction. Now remember, these are solids and liquids. So solids and liquids, you, you assume a mass fraction. But if it's gases, you assume mole fraction. Okay, so here it's represented in form of percentages. Okay, so these are mass percentages. Now if you divide by 100, it gives you mass fraction. Okay, so that's what it gives you. It gives you mass fraction so it's very very key sorry about that so now let's proceed and how do we go about solving this problem now we're given the amount of 150 so we can give this as our basis now basis remember is the reference for your calculation so your basis here can be given as 150 kilograms of B okay or the the, the new battery acid now moving forward we first conduct what is known as overall balance. So overall balance. Remember, this is material balance. Now, how do we do that? We look at what's coming into the system and what's leaving the system. So you can see here now that we've got F coming into the system and we have B coming into the system then P is leaving the system, which is the product. So we're going to have F coming in plus B coming in equals to P leaving the system. Simple as that. So now F plus B gives us P. And we have B. So we can say F plus 150 replacing B is equals to P or equivalent to P. Now, once we've done the overall balance, we can go and because this is the guy that we're looking for, P, the product. So we can go and conduct what is known as the component balance. So component.
Now component is H2SO4. So component balance. Refer to that as a component. So H2SO4 and water are the components. So we can take H2SO4 as our component, sulfuric acid. So there, that's the component. Okay. Remember they said here remainder being pure water. So anything 100 subtract 12.5, you get the composition of water. 100 subtract 77.5, you get the composition of the water. The same thing applies here. 100 sub subtract 18.5%, you get the composition of water. But it's easy, we can just use that and get the composition of H2SO4 because that's what we're using. So H2SO4, how do you conduct the component balance? So now what we're going to do, we're going to go X, composition is represented by X in F of H2SO4. That's how we write out the composition. Multiply by F plus X, which is the composition of H2SO4 in B now. H2SO4 in B, okay, which is the 77.5. And then now you've got B here is equivalent to the last one is X P H2SO4 multiply by P. So this is our component balance. This is our component balance now. This whole expression, call it the component balance. Now we can substitute in this equation because we know the values. Now we know that the component composition in F is 12.5 which is we can write it in mass fraction which is 0. Point, the fractional form is 0 0.125 multiplied by F plus in B we have 0. 0.775 multiplied by we have B B's value is 150 that's equals to when we proceed 18.5 is 0 0.185 okay now instead of placing p here multiplied by p p is p is f plus 150 so we substitute this expression of p we substitute this expression of p into this equation here so instead of writing p we're going to write f plus 150 okay then we just proceed and then now since we've got only one unknown here which is f f simplifies mm, to be 14 7, 5 when you calculate it okay and 1475 that is 1475 kilograms okay now since we found f now from this equation p equals to f plus 150 we can now we can now actually substitute to get what we're looking for which is the p how much is p so 1475 plus 150 and we can get the kilograms of p which are the kilograms that are produced that simplifies to 1775 kilograms so 1000 775 kilograms produced okay so now we've answered the question if you could this is the question how many kilograms of petri acid have been made so the kilograms of petri acid have been made is 1775 kilograms those are the kilograms of petri acid that have been made now this is very key if you master this principle on how to solve simplified material balances problems you're not going to have a problem what you basically what you do here you just need to sketch the diagram that's the first thing sketch the problem and once you've sketched the problem write down the basis after that you conduct the overall balance and once you're done with overall balance you conduct the component balance and then from there you can actually be able to solve the required answer so thank you very much for working for watching don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next section.